What is going on my fly guys? Welcome as we turn back with another video and today is a special day because it is the day that the PPU officially comes back with its redo of season two. So as you know I was in the PPU which as you can see right here is the um oh let me just scroll down. The Pokemon Players Union. And um so you could read this, I'll link it in the description and that is like we redid season two because we had some teams quit. And it was just a huge mess. We, the hype died after that. And so, yeah. But we are back. We had another draft. And you could see with the video right here. I am, of course, the coach of the Denver Darmanitans. But we're not going to talk about all the teams. We're going to talk about the team that I drafted. As you know, I am a huge fan of RU. I mean, that's my tier. Right? That's my tier, man. So we're going to talk about that. And I actually snagged some really good RU mods because I was picked really early in the draft for RU. So um, we're going to go to the Denver Darmanitans team. Let this load and bam. So I forgot where I think we had number two for RU. I mean number two for OU. So uh, I got to ma I managed to snag this guy right here Mega Sableye and whew, he it's amazing. I just love Mega Sableye. It's so bulky as a prankster, so you don't even have to Mega Evolve it right away. That is just a really good pick with Will-O-Wisp. Um, you could have Recover with Prankster. That's amazing. And then you could Mega Evolve to get the bulk. And you will still have that priority plus one for with the prankster for that turn. And you also get Magic Pound. So that's just incredible. Then we got Superior, which is just a game changer. Just spam Leaf Storm and you win games. Then we got Nidoqueen, and what I realized about this team is there's only two mons that can learn Stealth Rock, I'm pretty sure. Nidoqueen and Tyrantrum, and I'm not giving Stealth Rock to Tyrantrum. So Nidoqueen is going to be our main rocker, and it's just a really bulky mon that could put out a surprising amount of damage. Then we got my man Machamp, and he is just... hits so hard, and he can never miss. <laughs> That's just awesome. That's why I picked Machamp right there. We managed to get Snorlax, and Snorlax, great special wall, spam curse, and you win games. Yeah, that's all you got to do with Snorlax. This could be used in majority of ways, so I like, I like, so far the picks are really good. Now we're going to move to RU, and you might notice, wait, one, two, one, two, three, one, one. Yeah, we managed to get four RU mods because I originally had um, number three for Fearthorn, but I traded it for uh, R for Fletchender, but we'll get to that. So I managed to get first round pick for RU. I said Tyrantrum. That's all you gotta do for RU. Got so we got ourselves Tyrantrum and Tyrantrum's just gonna It's a really risky mon. Miss Head Smash, game's over. But Tyrantrum just hits incredibly hard, scarf it. Rockhead head smash, that's all you gotta do. Then we got Alamomola or as I like to call it, the fat fish. And that's our main wall right here. Wish pass to anybody if they get a little low. That's just amazing. Then after that, we got Meloetta immediately after Mola. And you know how I always have Meloetta on my teams? Yes. Except Meloetta might be run a little different at times because I'm not going to say it. But all these are not, like, these are just suggested, suggested spreads that I'm giving them on the spot. They're going to change according to the team, but yeah. Then we managed to trade Fearthorn for Fletchender, and it's an underdog. That's all you got to know. It might not look like much, but it'll put out some surprising amount of work. Just get its weaknesses out of the picture first. Then we got... I made a big mistake. I made a huge risk picking Audino first for NU instead of Skuntank. Huge, huge, huge risk because I needed Skuntank for... Um, Defog, but I wanted Audino, and I don't know why. I thought people would take Audino. I need it for Heal Bell. Yes, Meloetta gets Heal Bell, but Audino is going to be the second wall, and I could form a regenerated core with Audino and Mola, so that would be cool. So then after that, I was thanking everyone that they did not pick Skun Tank because I needed Skun Tank. It's going to be our main Defogger. It's Skun Tank's a great mon altogether. In our last pick, I'm like, we need some uh, good coverage. We don't have any Fire Mons. Pyroar. Pyroar is so good. And there's a Mega Scizor going around on the Brooklyn Blaziken. So, bam, counter. Mega Scizor does work to this team. 
besides Fletch, Pyroar, and we burn it with Scald. But yeah, like look, it bullet punches this mon, it bug bites this mon, it bug bites that. If we miss the burn, ooh, that's damage. It just does work to that to our team. Meloetta's out of the picture, like, so we needed a Fire Mon. Besides our Manitan, of course. But yeah, that's our team. That's our squad that we're going to be going with. I don't know if we're going to make any trades anytime soon because this is a great team altogether. The only problem is we only have one way of removing hazards and we have a Fletchender. So we got to keep it healthy. And um, yeah, we only have one Rocker, no Spikes. We do have Magic Bounce, which is nice. But yeah, that's going to sum up for this video. And uh, hope you guys just stay fly.